Um, I still have like, I think, two more videos to put together of our sailing trip with my son in May of uh, 2019. But I figure since it's springtime and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with the boat, still gotta do the video of the, uh, the cockpit trains. We're all finished. The only thing I have to do is um, I'm gonna redo the shells for the, uh, the fuel tanks that are in there. But the, uh, I haven't uncovered the boat yet, so I have the plywood all ready to go, but I have to recut them larger so they'll sit, they kind of sit on the outside of the hull, so they'll sit above those drains. Um, the other ones are close, but I want to raise them up a little bit more. So that's a project that's going to be done when I uncover the boat in probably another week or so. But one thing I'm working on is debating on whether or not to get refer spend the $1,000 for the refrigeration unit for the boat. So this is the cooler that I made uh, out of foam and fiberglass. So I kind of been looking at originally I was just going to get a refrigeration unit and um, and and so it'll just be a refrigerator but more i'm looking at it's enough another 200 dollars to get the actual freezer coil that would give you a freezer compartment and more i'm looking at it that makes more sense because if i'm going to the keys or the bahamas someday and if i don't get a bigger boat i know i want to have refrigeration after our 2019 sale so i kind of like i made a list of what i'd like to be able to get in the freezer and kind of like what I'd like to get in the refrigerator. The refrigerator is basically, as you can see there, uh, about one and a half cubic feet or just under that. So you can kind of see, this is the size mock-up I did, a foam of the, the coil that would be in there. So I'm kind of figuring I'd like to be able to get hamburgers in there. Um, and four, three or four packs of hot dogs. I like pork roll, so I kind of made some mock-up. I kept some of the boxes. Not sure when you're vidding, so my son walked in <laughs> and uh, interrupted me. He's looking for soup. He's not feeling well, so I had to pull out the soup to heat up for him. So I was just saying, um, looking at getting the refrigeration unit and... Uh, and eventually, it doesn't matter because I'd pull it out of the boat if I get a bigger boat to go to my new boat um so i said i'm looking at eggs don't really need to be in the cooler but just generally i was looking at i do like eggs and for breakfast and, and my whole point is then i don't have to stop and restock because and then with the and having to get ice it just doesn't really work because even when we in the keys um with my son our last trip we could have stopped and got ice but it just didn't happen i just know it won't happen and I have 70 watts of solar right now, and uh, the single battery I have is 120 amp. And I'm figuring that I do have my back compartment is set up that I could it was size so I can get another 50 watt on there. And what I do is just change out that um, 20 watt panel to a 50 watt, and that would give me 100 watts of solar. And I calculated um, what they show for how much power these refrigeration units would use. It's usually figured for like they're, they're rated for five cubic um, foot space. I, I'm at one and a half. So this thing is not going to have to run that much to keep this temperature down. And I've got over uh, about three and a half, to almost four inches of insulation in this box. So I don't think it's going to have to run much. I, I have the calculation somewhere of how much power I need. But really what I was kind of looking at, um, it's kind of like I'll show you doing the mock-up. I would go with half gallon jugs of milk just because, you know, they stay better as long as they're not open. So I'm figuring a gallon of milk at two half gallons. I do like my coffee on my trip. So, and I like real cream. Um, you know, mind you, if I was in the Bahamas, I'd probably be using half and half or uh, non-dairy creamer. Um, I like to have my soda um, occasionally or beer. So these are kind of set up there either could be six cans of soda or and or beer in there because I, I think I, I don't really drink beer out of cans, but I've noticed on the boat it's less weight and it takes it less space. And then if you want to crush them down and make them disappear for recycling, it's easier to do that. Um, I had some items I like to have like block cheese. So um, I kept some, made up some boxes about the size of block cheese. So I was trying to get an idea. I like to have butter. So if I'm down to lobster season, we have butter for breakfast and uh, had to go with any seafood. Three might be excessive. I think I just built another mock-up. 
Um, I do like to have a wood luxury item would be some uh, dip for chips. And I do like sour cream for stuff. So either one or two sour creams. And these again are more just block cheese. And this is really nice to have for um, making quesadillas. The block cheese lasts better than making having grated. Um, so you can just, or to do for snacks, cut up some cheese with crackers. So, and pork roll, um, I'm thinking I'm figuring having like three or four of those for breakfast. And, uh, and even these, um, I could cut them and refreeze them. So I'm only doing half a box. Um, if it's just me and my wife or me by myself, I would probably free recut all these and freeze them in. It. So I'm not opening up a whole package of it because yeah, it's six ounces. I don't need that much for breakfast. Um, so that's kind of like one thing I'm working at. I'm not sure if this is gonna happen yet. We'll see. Um, but that's on the refrigeration end. The other thing is, um, um, I am thinking, that, uh, which I did do, I was thinking about getting the new porta potty because actually I had to because mine died. So that came, I think it was like $66 or something, $63 on eBay. And the other thing that came, which is in the toilet, not necessarily the toilet, um, my sales slides. I had one uh, broke when we were um, down in Florida. So on a main sale, so I just ordered those from sale right and uh, they came. So I'm gonna replace all the sale slides and clips on the main sale. So that's done. So that's one thing. The solar panel, which is pretty cheap because I think the 50 watts only $75 and we have prime, so it's free shipping. So I'm thinking if I did get the refrigeration unit, which is pretty much, um, I think this is just, might have been just from West Marine. They're all pretty much the same set. It's roughly $1,000. Um, one thing is that it's a little bit more than that because you gotta add the power for it, uh, power lines to go to it, fuse box, I'm gonna wanna do a shut off um, so I can turn that on and shut off separately from the uh, electrical panel. Um, and the other thing that I'm looking at for the boat is maybe doing it inside halfway up shroud, which I don't have. And instead of totally re-rigging the boat, I've done all the toggles have all been replaced and all the turnbuckles have been replaced. But I've been toying about doing it inside because the center of the mast is kind of jiggly. So I was coming off the existing chain plates on the inside and go to the midpoint where the spreader is. And um, this way, God, for, and I don't think I would, I wouldn't tighten these up too much. These would be, would give me the safety if the outside main shrouds went there would be something to keep the rig from totally going down um so i i did come up with a total of that so even doing the work myself and doing the, my own crimps it's it's still it's still almost 250 dollars probably when you're all said and done um but like 60 of that is the tool i have to buy the tool to uh, be able to do the uh, the crimping so so that's where kind of like I'm after my little project, so we'll see. Um, and the other thing, oh, on the box, uh, I don't have the boat open, so I haven't drugged the box into the boat. If the refrigerator, right now, if I have to, I can move the, the steps going down to get in here. But I can slide this out now the way it's set up once I move the stairs. Once I put the refrigeration in and it's tied in to the compressor, I'm not going to be able to move it. So that's one thing that I have to check. I might have to come in here and cut this, remove these down farther, the clips for the lid down farther. Because right now, let me see if I can grab the lid and put the lid on. Right now, those bungee cords come across the top and clip down and hold. Whoop. It would be nice to have. I'm always too lazy to pull my tripod. Um, to hold this down, I might have to make this lid so it comes is an L shape instead of just the top that comes down and goes down. So I have a cutout. I kind of was sketching out what I might have to cut out. So these would have to get cut off and re attached down here. So when this lid comes off, it would be a big, it would be an L. So I could just pull it off straight. And then this might have to come down about four or six inches. So if I can't move this box out, I can still get stuff in and down. So 
I won't know that until I get in there. I was in the boat the other day, but I didn't take the tarp off of it. And uh, I can get in the boat, but this isn't going to fit fit in the opening that I got into. So we'll see. So, but that's some of the projects that I'm thinking about for the boat. I'm looking forward to getting the boat in the water because last year with COVID, we wound up not even putting the boat in. So um, I'm looking forward to doing some sailing locally. I don't think we're having trips. I am thinking about to go sailing down from where we're at down to Atlantic City and maybe going out in the ocean. So that's really, I think right now is my big trip since the, uh, the Barnegan Inlet down here where I'm at is a little crazy. Whereas uh, Lang City Inlet is pretty, which I think is that's considered the Apsecan Inlet, Brigantine Inlet, is pretty wide and um, doesn't look too crazy even during inner outflowing or inflowing tide. So that's a, I'd like to do the trip down there. But a little bit of motoring when you get farther Lang City because you pretty much got to follow the little canals through the marsh to get to Atlantic City. But there is a nice anchorage there near the casinos. Um, so that's my hopefully going to happen this year. So that's kind of like what I'm thinking of my refrigerator. As you see, I can get a lot more in there if I don't have two ice jugs. And in reality, this coil in here takes about the same amount of space that my ice jugs did. The only difference is I don't have to replace them. So, and I said, I already, I already have the solar capacity and the battery, I did re already look at whether um, I have places that I could put two six uh, volt uh, golf cart batteries if I want to increase my from 120 amp hours to like 250, I think it would be. So, um, but I think it'd be cheaper to add the solar panel, upgrade the solar panel, 100 watts of solar. This thing is not going to use more than uh, 20 uh, amp hours a day, I don't believe. So, that would be the whole question of actually having it run and see what, how much power it really uses. But I was just going off what other people had said. So, well, I hope all your uh, springtime projects are going well in your boats, getting ready to put in the water. And uh, I know I got to get myself to get the last two of the, the Florida videos. Too, so. Thanks for watching and uh, fair winds and fair seas.